Ian Ball had never been a religious person. He never really thought about God. But scarring from brain surgery brought on a series of visions that made him question everything. This carried on for about three or four weeks. About and how often? Every day. Every, every day. Every morning. I felt like I was being sort of transported and being revealed fundamental truths about the nature of reality. One of which is that all inanimate objects are conscious. All beings are conscious, including walls, tables and chairs. Which seemed very counterintuitive to me. I mean, who, you know, how can you have consciousness without a brain? The other thing that seemed to be happening was that everything is bound together in one thing by an endless, unconditional love. And there was this huge wave of emotion that came with this experience, which was really powerful and uplifting. Are you religious? I was an agnostic. I didn't know how to understand it. I don't know if it was God. You don't know that it wasn't. I don't know that it wasn't. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. Ian wanted to find out whether his visions had a medical cause. So he joined the Cambridge University study conducted by Dr. Joseph Tennant. It was searching for a connection between epilepsy and mystical experiences. That's a scan of the tumor that was the cause of the seizures okay. I was having. So, I mean, as you can see on the scan, the growth from the skull with the left temporal lobe, and so this is pushing up against Ian's brain. And so they had to cut all that section away, but obviously when you do that, you leave a bit of scarring on the left temporal lobe. So it seems something about the temporal lobe is potentially capable of producing spiritual experiences. You have not come to any sort of conclusions yet on it. We can't induce a seizure on someone of a mystical nature and hope that we can get a good scan of it under an MRI. We don't know when these seizures are happening. Now, can't you come to some sort of conclusion behind that? Uh, not, not quite. I yet. would. I, I mean, would jump right to it. Well, so, like so, God exists. <laughs> uh, Joan of Arc, St. Bernadette. Do you think that there is a possibility that they experienced this sort of epilepsy? It is possible. So there was a neurological paper that speculated that Paul's vision on the road to Damascus was epilepsy. But I mean, so what? Because the thing that occurred afterwards was Paul was moved to go preach and become you know, St. Paul. <laughs> right. As a scientist, I can't tell you whether these are metaphysical or not. So the thing we can look at is to say that something in the brain is capable of producing religious experience and can do so even when it's not intending to. All right, here's the $64 question. How has it changed you? Well, I think, you know, it did remove any sense of that I had that the universe is a meaningless, cold place. I think it gave a kind of foundation of meaning for me. And I think this idea of was it a revelation or was it just a, an aberration in the brain? I've come to the conclusion it doesn't really matter because the thing that really sticks with me is that feeling of uh, endless, unconditional love. And I don't think that really matters where it came from a divine force or from my damaged brain. 